Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Um, you are watching me in uh, OBS Studio and I thought I would attempt a cool little uh, experiment or uh, I guess the OBS uh, geeks of the world might also find this cool. Um, I mentioned that I recorded over the weekend a live stream for a friend, um, a friend who was getting married and uh, ended up working just fine in terms of like what they wanted to get a basic live stream up to YouTube and I had a my camcorder rigged up on a tripod uh, facing the wedding canopy and that was fine uh, but I did have much more elaborate plans and once I got into thinking how many webcams I have just like lying about the place I thought wow this could be something pretty cool um, so I thought that I would uh, just do a quick test um, adding a bunch of different webcams to OBS and seeing how that would actually work. So let me uh, let me just sort of show you what I've rigged up here. And what you're looking at now is the Logitech C930E. And as you can see, I'm trying to label my sources uh, pretty well here in OBS. Um, so I have this called the Logitech C930E. And this is the webcam I'm using on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm doing these screencasts and whatever for YouTube. Um, it's a 1080p Logitech HD webcam and I really, really like this webcam. Uh, so I'm going to give it the honor of showing the other, the less, the less chosen cameras. So this is like a AliExpress webcam that's also supposed to be 1080p. And I got this um, during COVID when you could not buy webcams. And I was looking for this webcam, the one you're, you're, you're looking, watching me speak into. Um, and because I couldn't find it, I gave up. I ended up just buying this supposedly 1080p AliExpress camera and it does not work that well. It's like very finicky if you pull it out in any way, it like, or you just like touch the wire, it disconnects. So I'm gonna leave it up on that screen and uh, hope for the best. Now, uh, this, is, this is sort of just to zoom out a bit, so to speak. This is the setup um, that I'm working at. I've already shown this a few times on this YouTube channel kind of a three monitor array and um, a bit of lighting going on up there. And um, these are the other cameras that I'm going to talk about in a second. So that was camera two, um, and we're gonna connect those in a second. Camera three is this random uh, AliExpress camcorder that, again, before I got an actual camcorder, I picked, I kind of picked this thing up as a tester. Um, I like the fact it actually can record directly out. It's sort of so basic that it literally just hooks up via USB to USB. So that actually makes things easier and it gets this sort of nice USB logo comes up on the screen in case you were un under any doubts as to what was going on there. So um, we're at two and three. Webcam four is gonna be my first webcam here. Um, the first one I bought when I moved here was the Logitech C170. It's like four or five years old or maybe even six years old and uh, it's just, really bad resolution now compared to what I'm using, but I've kind of kept it, and now at least it's getting some sort of a use in this experiment. And finally, we have the uh, Canon Vixia HFR 800, and that was um, the one that I picked, recorded the wedding on. It's my camcorder, and I just picked up a um, HDMI to USB interface. Now, how is this all connected to the computer? It's kind of, I use a desktop, and it's just this like jumble of wires. Um, there's this USB hub, you can see the cannons coming in here. You can see, I'm trying to remember what's going where. This is, this is actually my lab microphone that I'm, you're hearing me on. This is two or three more of the webcams. Anyway, the stuff is rigged up in some, in some manner. And I'm, oh, did I miss one? One, two, three, four, five. No, I didn't. So technically this would be a five webcam thing if it worked. One here two here, three, four, yeah, five. So uh, let's just see, can we pull this? Can we just get them into OBS firstly, all at the same time? So here's my main webcam. I'm gonna just do a bit of um, filtering work to, because um, I'm gonna be trying to fit a lot of webcamage into the same space here. So let me go 200, let's do 250 even, 250 and I'm gonna take some, pixels off the top of the frame and uh, now that's been cropped and I can drag and drop. So that's webcam one. Now let's get webcam two. So this can be the um, AliExpress camera. Um, I don't have a better word for it than that. Um, I think it's this one, T no, Tiga. Okay, so that must be the, that must be the one, the USB camera. 
Um, so which one would be the Ali? Okay, this is AliExpress because I see a light's just gone on on it. And it looks to me like we are um, going to need a bit of work here on the motion. I think everything in OBS I own needs this uh, YU12. Um, it, it looks to me like this one is just not gonna work. It's not really gonna work out so well. Um, I have just had like, I, I just gave up on trying to use this webcam because it just like froze. Um, as you can see, I am frozen here. Um, let's just give one last attempt trying to play around with the video format a little bit. Um, it, it, it's, it's, make, it's blinking as if it's trying to work. Um, but it's, uh, you know, uh, not really functioning as a webcam clearly. So, uh, that was a failure, but not on the, not on the, um, just on the failure of being a fail, failed camera webcam. And I also have two more webcams, um, that are really, really basic ones as well from AliExpress that I tried to buy for IP, like, um, security stuff. And, um, maybe another day I'll try to get those rigged up too. Okay. So we have... Well, we have one in a picture, but uh, you can see the angle would have been incredibly something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to jump into studio mode uh, once I've got them all put in. Um, so that was a hardware error. Now we're going to go for USB camera cam three. And um, no, I added the wrong thing. I need to add a video. Sorry, I need to add a video capture device. Um, so USB cam, cam, and, um, that is the Tiga looking at my, um, sort of t-shirt here. So let me just tilt the, uh, it's need to unlock the ball bearing. So this can be kind of a super up close, um, not particularly flattering right now of my face, but what can you do? Uh, video format, let's just see if we can improve the motion a bit with going to one, another one. So it looks like we can. Um, so that can be my close-up uh, camera. So I'm going to call this, uh, rename it to close-up. And that's just a little bit freaking me out. So maybe let's just go like this. Um, so that can be my close-up camera. So now, now we're up to two, three webcams if that one was working. And I'm just going to leave it there in case it does come back to life. Uh, you can see me from the front, you can see me from the side. And uh, now let's go, uh, so we should at least manage a four webcam setup, um, which would be at least something quite cool. Now let's try to get the Logitech C170 recognized and um, Logitech C170, is it on our list? It is on the list. It is on the list, but we are, uh, it looks like it's having a uh, bad, Bad day, uh, Logitech C170. I'm just gonna try and move that one over to um, a different, because I'm thinking maybe this is just putting too much pressure on the one um, USB extension port. So what I'm gonna do is move it to, oh yeah, that one as well is kind of a little bit iffy, I think. So I'm just moving it over here to, um, uh, that one is full. What is going in here? That is that. Um, let's see where else I could potentially put this. Do, 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 do. I'm going to just put it into a USB port on the actual computer directly on the front USB port. And that can be sort of our weird back, back angle or something like that. Um, or like looking at the looking at the sky more honestly. So there we go. So um, I've just put that up here. Um, in fact, I can get it on. I can get it onto the desk. Um, and uh, I just might need to sort of get out of it and get into it again here. So let's just try that video capture device. Logitech C one seventy. And do we have we have a feed? We do have a feed. So let me just take off the privacy filter and uh, you can see me again. So uh, this is another one. And why, why don't we just vary this up a bit by putting this guy, the USB one kind of like to the right. So that one's to the left, that's to the right. Seeing as the AliExpress camera is not com being compliant. Um, right, so now we have, how many webcams do we currently have going? We have um, 
This is the Logitech C170 uh, here in red. Then we have the uh, AliExpress cam is not doing anything, but I, I'm gonna give it one last try. Ali cam and Ali cam is Tiga, I believe. No, it's HD web camera. Okay, it's kind of come back again. At least we're getting some motion this time. Um, I could just leave it here as like sort of a, not really doing much in the way of motion. Let's just go for that. So uh, we have now Logitech C930E. We have the, I'm just gonna wave. Yeah, that's the USB camera here. Um, then the Ali cam is here on the side. Then we have finally the Logitech C170. And now we just need to get the Vixia. So we're already at four webcams. So uh, four, uh, four of me here speaking. And let's finally try get Vixia HF R800, which should be coming into the computer through the, um, through the HDMI to USB capture device. I have a feeling what just happened there. Where's that guy gone? I have a feeling this one's not gonna work because it was really buggy um, trying to get it to work at the wedding. Um, I think this one should be the Vixia, but it looks like it's not uh, working out for me. So um, again, bugginess could be just due to the hardware I'm using, I guess. Um, let's just make sure that it is indeed connected. It is indeed connected into the, uh, into the hub. But again, let me just think that perhaps it's just the hub is The hub is potentially just being overwhelmed by all these simultaneous uh, connections to it. So let's try to get it from the, just plug that into the computer, Canon, and it should be listed under, um, I think USB video. There we go, yay. So that's working out too. So let's just get this up here. And I do remember that in order to get this to work uh, properly, I needed to change to YU12 emulated. Now we've got that, um, motion has been fixed and you can see me at my computer. So there we go, we have now got five webcams in OBS simultaneously. And um, yeah, this is pretty cool I must say. You can see there's motion in all of them. Clearly the AliExpress camera is struggling more than any of the other cameras. And in terms of my best cameras, in terms of quality, the best two would be the one you're looking at here, the, the uh, C, C C930E and the Vixia would also be good. So we've got two good webcams. Now, how could we use this ridiculous setup? Well, if I went into studio mode, let's say, and I could go for, um, let's say if we took the C930E um, and we took off that crop filtering. I'm also gonna take the crop off the, um, sorry, there should be no crop on that. So I'm just gonna go and put this into uh, full, sized, so I'm gonna go transform and put that to uh, control F. I'm just using the buttons this time as opposed to doing the other things and um, I'm just gonna turn off, layer that above the other ones and I can just cut across there and I can even do a little recording. Let's just do a test recording, start recording. So I'm recording with my Logitech C930E and I'm beginning the broadcast and I'm talking about the interesting things that happened in my day and now I want to cut across to the uh, the other one and I just need to quickly make all these things uh, full size and we're going to be doing an unboxing video today so let's just quickly uh, point this camera feed into my desk um, and we should be able to see the desk and let's just pretend we're doing an unboxing and you've heard enough of me now we're going to cut so now we've cut across to the unboxing and I'm doing the unboxing video here let's just pretend in our imaginary world and um, now it looks like I've somehow disconnected this, the main camera. So we are down, we are, we are, we are down a camera, but uh, never to mind. I can now go to uh, cut across to this one, which is the USB camera, I believe. The close up camera, I'm gonna put that guy up to fit to screen two and just layer him above. And now I'm just going to uh, fade across to this close up camera. And uh, this is all starting to look very weird. So I'm going to now um, go back to the 930E if it's back up, it's not back up. So I'm gonna put Vixia up on top and I'm gonna hide, just hide all the other sources. Uh, what's happened to Vixia? Vixia is down too. We're, ha we're having so many glitches here. 
But in any event, uh, you can sort of see that we did succeed in uh, putting together this uh, this dizzying array. Um, that is the ah the Vixie is right here. So we, we did succeed in putting together a, a five connecting five cameras into OBS uh, simultaneously, which is uh, pretty cool, I think. And uh, of course, we could just use multiple cameras in the broadcast if I wanted to put um, this kind of close-up camera. Um, where is close-up? Close-ups here. If I wanted to just kind of resize myself and put this a bit more into center, and then I can fade across to uh, this kind of uh, you know video of me uh, manipulating, uh, speaking to the camera here a little bit while I'm also, you can see my hands uh, working away on my computer. And um, I'm just going to stop the recording here um, and just sort of see if that indeed um, renders. And let's just see if we go into uh, OBS. It should be the last OBS video. I'm just going to show you now how that looked. That was when the camera froze here, but we got across to OBS. Uh, more messing around with these controls, swapped over to the close-up. And then uh, hopefully we got the close-up here with me into the close-up. So that was it. Um, interesting experiment, I hope, uh, managed to succeed. Succeeded in uh, connecting simultaneously five different uh, camcorders into OBS Studio. So five different webcams, one camcorder over a HDMI to USB capture device and uh, four USB webcams. Um, so I guess just to say that it is possible and you can connect this many simultaneous, simultaneous webcams into OBS Studio if you want to do that. Thank you guys for watching and if you'd like to subscribe to this YouTube channel then uh, click on the subscribe button and until the next video.